All right, let's go back to our lead story, the state of capture inquiry. We know from today that the hearings are set to begin in August. The Deputy Chief Justice Raymond Zondo uh, providing an update after the investigations team uh, started its work ostensibly in March, although he said some of those investigators uh, have not been on the ground, uh, some problems in getting their contracts sorted. Uh, just laying out what's going to happen from here on in, he says it could take up to two years when only 180 days has been allocated. All right, we're joined now. Uh, we were uh, via Skype. I believe he's on the phone from Connecticut in the United States. Mark Swilling, he's Professor of Sustainable Development at the School of Public Leadership, uh, Stenler Moss University, and of course the convener of academics and a co-author of a report that was released last year called The Betrayal of the Promise, How South Africa is Being Stolen. Professor, thank you for joining us. First, uh, is South Africa still being stolen or, or do you believe uh, we're starting to take some of it back? Yeah, we're starting to take some of it back. Uh, but just because there's been a political changeover to the Ramaphosa government doesn't mean it's all stopped. Because this is a deeply entrenched virus in the public sector system and it's going to take a long time to root out. It's also widespread within the private sector, as we know. So it's an affliction that the whole of South Africa feels. Did today's update from the uh, Commission of Inquiry inspire confidence? Yeah, definitely. I think the, there's been a, a broad-based civil society campaign involving business unions and the churches around uh, demands for this kind of commission, and it looks like the terms of reference uh, make sense, and we're not looking at another armed deal, Sariti Commission kind of uh, obfuscation. So I think we should be hopeful. Why? I was going to ask you about the arms deal because there were a lot of claims swirling around then, then a whole inquiry, but a lot of those same claims still swirling around. What makes this commission different? Well, I think the terms of uh, reference are clearer. The scope of the power, the investigative powers are wider. And uh, the chair of the commission is a different, is, 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 is an independent-minded uh, individual who I don't think is going to show fear or favor for those in power. Mm. All right, so we, we have good legal minds on this. Can you take us back to your uh, thesis you got together with other academics? And, and it really was, was explaining how each minister, how each step uh, was leading to something much bigger. You, you spoke of it as a silent coup. Yeah, I mean, our basic argument was that uh, a power elite centered around uh, President Zuma had systematically seized control of key state institutions, repurposed them, and used that to redirect resources uh, for private gains uh, as part of a very long-term um, commitment to a development strategy that would have resulted in the destruction of the South African economy. So I think uh, uh, we documented that. Uh, we, we pulled together a lot of known evidence, but also new evidence about financial flows through international circuits. And we identified a number of individuals who uh, have been targeted, for example, the head of SARS. And, and Jacob Zuma, ostensibly at the center of this power elite, were you surprised when he actually did set this commission up in, in January? Uh, I wasn't that surprised because it was part of a, a comp an internal compromise uh, to try and placate uh, some of his critics in order, as part of the strategy to survive, to look like uh, he was concerned about the problem and was doing something about it. So it was a, a clever move. But since then, uh, he's lost out. Uh, there's been a shift in, political, in, the, in the political center of gravity. There's a new set of players, but some of the old players are still there, like uh, Ace Magashule and, and others. So uh, there's an internal power struggle, uh, and exactly how that's going to play out with the commission, uh, nobody really knows at this stage, but I think there's grounds for hope. 
So Ace Makhashula, you mentioned him, uh, came up in, in relation to the Estina dairy farm, but there's a, a prosecution going on. Uh, no evidence unearthed. Well, certainly uh, he hasn't uh, been told before the, the court. So, so what kind of thing do you think can come out of this uh, commission that isn't in the Gupta emails, that isn't a he said, she said uh, sort of situation where, where we can actually move forward? Well, we need to we need to recognize that this commission has serious investigative powers. Has got uh, is going to build up a very significant team that is going to not just collate existing information, but subpoena people, uh, build up a whole uh, bank of evidence uh, from various presentations by people who previously were much more fearful of talking out. Uh, the risks of talking out now are substantially diminished, and so you are going to find people who are going to get to that, who are, who are waiting. Actually, I've spoken to people who are waiting their chance to go to the commission and finally have their say. Mm. And that's going to generate new information, and uh, some people are not going to be happy about that. And finally, Professor, this can actually lead to prosecutions. The evidence now can be used. Of course, uh, in, in your report, you were talking about how the uh, authorities were being uh, captured, those uh, law enforcement authorities. Do you see that changing? Uh, do you see the law officials taking this further? I don't know if you saw that there's a new head of the Hawks uh, announced today. I, I'm, not, I'm not up to date with today's news, but that doesn't surprise me. Uh, so I know for a fact that the uh, and the president has made it clear that the rebuilding of the justice system, uh, in particular the prosecutorial system, the NPA and the Hawks, uh, is a key priority. So you're absolutely correct. Uh, without the rebuilding of the Hawks and the rebuilding of the NPA, the commission itself will not be as effective as it could be. So you really need the combination of all of that. Just to cite uh, a president, the parliamentary hearings, the committees in parliament that are also doing these investigations, also had um, powers to prosecute but, or to initiate prosecutions, but at a time when the MPA and the Hawks were compromised. Now that's changed. All right, thank you very much for your time this evening. Uh, speaking to us from the United States, Professor Mark Swilling, he, of course, was the convener of academics who wrote about how South Africa is being stolen. Uh, much more optimistic this time.